Hey guys, so on today's video I'm going to be showing you how to dial in your settings with your MIG welder. Alright guys, so what I like to do when I'm dialing in my settings with the MIG is I'll grab a nice thick piece of scrap metal. This is 3 8 thick, um, just regular hot rolled steel. Um, but what I've gone ahead and done is taken off the mill scale on both sides using this, this type of wheel. This is the best thing I've found for mill scale and paint. Uh, these are like Harbor Freight, super cheap. I think it's like five bucks. They last a really long time. They do much better than a uh, a flap disc. But anyways, and it doesn't take down the material like a flap disc does. But so I've taken the mill scale off both sides. That'll help you penetrate in. And so when you're doing your setting, it'll actually help with um, it cutting in. So you you know you're in the right. Uh, range. The mill scale can kind of throw you off. It'll want to pop and stuff when it really wouldn't if you didn't have mill scale. So what I'm going to be doing is a dead simple way of doing this. Uh, I got this stand here for my hand. And basically I'm going to be resting off of this and doing the same technique that I like to do, which with me it's cursive ease. If you like a straight push or a straight pull, then that's what you're going to be doing. And with your other hand, you're going to be up here on your inches per minute and you're going to be adjusting it so I start off low, I'll start off real low, and you'll hear it pop, 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 pop until it starts crackling, it gets into a smooth um, range, you know, and once it gets into that, I'll stop and see where that's at, write that down, and then I'll start again over here and turn it up while I'm still doing my technique until it gets uh, to where it starts popping again, and that's your upper end, right before it starts popping. And so that mid-range is where you'll want to be with this um, voltage, if that makes sense. So it looks like 124 will be my lower end of the range. And uh, inches per minute will help you get penetration, so the higher up you're on on that, the deeper it's going to cut in. Right there's where it's wanting to pop out, so 192 inches for the top end. So somewhere right in there is going to be your sweet spot, and you can hear it. I want to say it was probably around one, uh, 160 would be my sweet spot for there, maybe 150. What I'm going to do is turn it up uh, half a volt each time. So 17 and a half now. I'll go down. I will whatever the start of that one was, 124 I guess. So I'm going to start down there. So I know it kind of sounds weird. Uh, it's just real noisy in my shop, so it kind of sounds like it's all like, um, I don't know, the machine's all screwed up, but it sounds nothing like that. And the weld doesn't sound like that either. So I'm trying as best as I can to keep the same arc length also that I'm going to be using normally. Um, I try to keep everything the same. It's kind of hard with one hand. It takes a little practice, but it's worth it in the end if you do it right. So I also forgot to say that uh, this is specific to the wire size and type. So this is... Um, 030 ER70 S6 wire. So if you're going to be using mostly 035, you're going to have to um, do a different one than you would for 035 or 023. Uh, just be aware that it's specific to each wire size too. Yeah, All right. So those right there would be my settings 
uh, for that. And usually what I do is I'll go to about the center of it. So there's the first ones. And you can see as you start going up, they start getting bigger and bigger. And that's just from all the heat and um, all that. We're not looking, when you're doing this, you're not looking for penetration on this because that'll come when you're uh, doing it to a specific size. So now you've got your settings from 17 volt all the way to whatever you wanted to do. Um, this is for short circuit MIG, I should say. So you got those settings, you found out where your midsection in it is, and that's about where you're going to be. You can fine tune on whatever you're welding from there. But then what you're going to do is get the material type that you're going to be welding on, uh, say it's eighth inch, tack a couple of those pieces together, some T-welds or outside corners, whatever you're going to be welding, and uh, weld it with your 17 volts, weld one with your 17 and a half, 18, 18 and a half, see which one you like, see if it's got the penetration profile you like, uh, cut and etch it if you want, but that's how you're going to figure out what you need for that material type. So when I move forward, I'm pushing forward into that groove, and I'm just staying in that, and then I'm coming up and wrapping around, and I'm staying on the leading edge of that puddle. I'm not pushing out of it, I'm staying in it, and coming up and just wrapping down. Once you're happy with how your weld turned out on the material thickness, just write them both down, what setting you used, and store that away and uh, keep moving on with your other materials. So, like this video if it helps you, subscribe if you're not, leave comments down there of anything you want to see or anything I haven't covered. Um, I should be doing an aluminum pipe welding video, I'll show you how to get a nice root in there and um, yeah, if there's anything else just write it down there. Uh, thanks for watching.